So now that it's gotten a lot colder, I have noticed that my skin has gotten a little bit dry right around here. So what I've been doing is actually I've been taking my favorite moisturizer, which is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is amazing for oily skin because it'll sink right into the skin and it won't sit on top of it. It's not oily, greasy or anything. That's why I love this stuff. And again, because I have been a little bit more dry, I've been using the Tatcha Gold's Camellia Beauty Oil. And this is what it looks like. Ignore my nails. I need to get them done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about two pumps of my moisturizer. And I just make sure you clean your hands before this. And then I take just one, one dot, like one pump of this. Just one. I will just apply that to my skin. And then I'm just going to let this sit on my skin for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to my primer. So now I'm going to move on to my primer and I'm going to be using today the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. This is just my holy grail. And again, because I haven't been getting too oily, I don't have to worry about priming my face with um, a mattifying primer. So now I'm going to move on to the actual foundation and I've been loving this one lately. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation and this is not a mattifying um, foundation but again because I have been dry I've been really enjoying this and I don't feel like it leaves me a super dewy finish. Anyway I can always go back and powder my face but I'm going to be using this one and I'm going to take my super dirty beauty blender and I'm going to take one full pump. And I'm just going to apply this onto my face. Now I do think this foundation is a little bit too light for my skin. But it's okay because with bronzer, we can kind of make it work. So now I'm going to move on to my concealer. And I'm going to be taking my current favorite combo at the time, which is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue um, Concealer in Medium. And then my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand Sable. And then I'm quickly going to set that with this Your Minerals Sweden Transparent Veil Eye Primer. I got this on one of my BoxyCharm boxes. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about my bronzer since this is pretty much just a foundation routine. But I'm just going to use the Makeup Forever Pearl Sculpting Dual Bronzer and I'm going to use this to bronze up my face and then I'm going to use that same highlight to add a little bit of glow to my skin. Now that the winter again is approaching, I do like an intense glow. So I do pretty, you know, intense. I go, go pretty ham with this. Um, I do apply about two layers, sometimes three layers of highlight, which I know can be excessive for some people. Me personally, I really, really like a super dramatic highlight. Totally optional. You can skip the highlight as well. But I feel that everybody goes for that matte look during the winter. It's really not my thing. I feel like it makes my face look just flat. So I definitely like to add a little bit of highlights pretty much everywhere. So that is it. That is all I do for my routine during the winter as far as my foundation goes. I know that it's really simple, but I seriously didn't want to sit here and BS you guys and tell you, oh, I do this and this, because that's all I do. That's the only thing that I've been changing. Just adding a little bit of oil onto my, um, onto my moisturizer, and I feel like it makes a world of a difference. 
if you have any other oil just use it as long as it's for the face if you have something that's a little bit thicker just make sure to really use just a tiny bit I do feel like my makeup looks a lot more glowy my skin looks healthy and I don't know I just I feel a difference on how my skin looks when I do use some sort of oil mixed in with my moisturizer let me know what your routine for using your foundation during the winter time is if it stays the same or if it changes if you are oily let everybody else know if you have any tricks so that is everything for today's video also give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see a highlighter collection because i have a lot thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on my on my social medias i have a twitter i have a facebook and i also have my instagram which is the one that i'm mostly active right now i am hosting a really really small giveaway so make sure to be following me on my instagram to enter my twitter if you want to enter there too or my facebook that is all thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye